Previously on the fall of Medinvar, the Slop Tops, after their tourney, got to know the people of Miser's Mercenary College while they went on the road with them after saying yes to the pitch. On the road, Yol the Swole was decapitated by a group of bandits. Fearing that the bandits could be on their tail, they... The group decided to move, and shortly after decided to lay a trap for the bandits in which Wilton, Daigle, John, and Lorne build a deadfall to catch the bandits in. But before they could finish, John tucks his tail and runs for the camp. On his way to the camp, he is met by Fenrir, who tries to kill him. John took some damage and decided to run for the camp for safety, thinking he was being chased by Fenrir, only to meet Rick at the gate and, and notice that he was no longer being pursued. And that is where our story starts today. All right, so yeah, you get back, you get, you get back into the camp, you see uh, Edgar's... Uh, <laughs> God damn it, I was going to make a joke. No, you see, uh, you see Edgar, Aaliyah... And uh, Patricia are now like uh, just sitting down next to the camp. There is one candle lit, and the candle is behind the cart so that it's invisible from the south. Um, mm -hmm. So they have a little bit. Okay, they have a little bit of light there, and uh, Aaliyah is writing in her notebook, and Patricia and Nisby are having a uh, conversation hand to hand, of course. Um... <laughs> yes, well, you bust. I br yeah, okay. Do you want me to go? Yeah, do your thing. I burst the candle. Go, everybody! Get fucking ready! Get, grab your arms! Grab your arms! Go! Uh, uh, Fenrir attacked my... me. He's with the bandits. I don't know what the hell's going on. That rat bastard. Uh, he looked like a scraggly sort. Desperate kind. Can't always trust them. Not everyone wants to better themselves. Want to take from one another. Hmm. I thought Ben I thought Fenner and Yol were close. To think he'd betrayed one of his own friends. I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna be like, it's time to put the fear back in this little scraggly bastard. <laughs> and I clack the two hatchets together. <laughs> Jesus that dude. I mean I understand, but you crazy motherfucker. <laughs> dude, and I'm just wearing this severed chain around my neck like it's a fucking trophy. <laughs> so uh, So uh during this conversation, Patricia has just disappeared. You don't see her anywhere. And uh, Aaliyah is still there. Nisby uh, pulls out his saber and uh, walks around the other side of the cart. And he just kind of like stands there with his saber and leans against the back of the cart and whistles. <whistles> and you hear uh, the whistle repeated by Hobart laying inside the cart. He, he whistles back. <laughs> he says, yeah, I'm ready, I'm ready. <laughs> That's some badass shit. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you hear you hear Wiz, uh, Nisby just like uh, he's like waving a saber back and forth, and you just hear it whipping through the air, like. <laughs> and uh, he says, "Well, I hope they hurry up. I'd love to get some sleep tonight." And uh, anything you'd like to do, Edgar? Um, and John, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go up to uh, Nisby and be like, "So how are I, we?" Yeah. How exactly are we going to catch this slippery little bastard? I, I ready my weapons behind them. Not that I put them away, but I'm now at the ready. Buckler in hand. Sword in hand. He says, well, he says, if, if Fenna truly is with the bandits, likely we may never see him again. But if we don't, but if we do, we will see him very soon. And we need only be ready. Faster, I hope he, we see him soon. Do you think he acted alone? Or Absolutely I mean, not. Absolutely yeah. not. Given his cowardly <laughs> giving his cowardly actions. What do you mean do you think he acted? Do you mean like someone else in camp? No, I, I mean just alone. I don't know. I, I figured we would hear something, but unless he was just scouting out for somebody else. They could be right yeah, behind. I mean, us. apparently he was he was close with Noel, but who's to say who we can trust here? Yol I'm, I'm saying this out loud to, out loud to Nisby Noel also. When he was beheaded. By the way, just yeah. So he says, uh, he says now he says, listen here, I I severely doubt that he acted alone. Or uh, Nisby says, I severely doubt that he acted alone. You know the way things are right now. Desperate men all through the land. Perhaps you haven't heard. 
There's famine in the West, war, locusts, bad soil. Fire Feast of the, the farm born sterile. Hood is more <sighs> widespread than the West even. Bandits uh-huh. line the roads. The patrols of Medinvard and the Orthodoxy grow thinner. People recluse to their castles. Grim times, this is. Grim times. Uh, had no idea. Yeah, many think it's the end of the world. Me, I don't think the world ends. But if we're lucky, we don't. That's up to us. Uh, I'm just hoping one world... It's a positive does. outlook. Mm. I'm just like, I'm just thinking of like this whole like empire, this whole fucked up thing. It's like, I hope one world does. I just like <laughs> stare off into the distance, like hoping that he just magically like appears. I really just want to hunt this guy down, but there's probably no way we're going to catch him before he gets to the rest of his group. Oh, do you express so, that you want to hunt I him down? I think we'll meet him again. Yeah, yeah. I just like, tell him beard. it's a shame we couldn't catch him before he got to... Well, whoever he's going to. I got yeah. lucky, man. I didn't I didn't know what to expect. He almost fucking shaved me at the neck. He just shaved me here. <laughs> so, uh, now I gotta regrow this red hair. Heads I look as much fucking as I trust, wonderful beforehand. I trust redheads as much as I trust Severin cultists and Malfora abusers. Yep. <laughs> oh, even it, when when Nisby sees that your hair's been cut, he says now that is a bloody shame. You'll have to take a lock of his hair. This is manhood. I'm still, this is manhood I'm talking about. You're going to have to take a lock of his hair. You get your honor back. All right? Oh, oh I'm going to take it. I hope. I'm going to take more than a lock. He says, now I'll I take I his cannot... head right off his shoulders. That's the spirit. Now make sure you hold your blade so the sharp ends are away from your body when you swing it. What? And... <laughs> no. <laughs> Huh? This is a, no. There's only one. There's only one uh, sharp side on the short sword. Make sure you got the sharp side out. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna bounce back to uh, camp bait. Um. All right. So as you are uh, uh, sitting around the fire, it's probably been uh, about an hour and a half, two hours now. It is dark. The moon is high overhead. And uh, go ahead and roll wisdom checks for both of you. Wisdom. Fucking god damn. It's okay. You're not you're you're not you're not the only one stupid. <laughs> <laughs> so uh before you before you know it. I have a negative one too, so that Yeah, matter. we, we <laughs> drank we drank a little bit more than we should have. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what we'll say. <laughs> yep. You you guys uh reek of uh ale. Um <laughs> and uh you guys hear let me see something real quick. You guys hear two sounds at the same time, all right? You you hear you hear somebody go, "Ah, oh, fuck!" as uh as they fall into the pit. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> the, 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 uh as you turn over, what you hear as you is a yell, "Oh fuck!" You see a man who's crouched and like walking towards you. He falls into the pit. <laughs> And uh, lands uh, presumably on the spikes below, and uh, there are two other men who are going around the other sides of the fire, and uh, one of them stands up and uh, he looks down to the pit where the guy fell in, and he says, oh, "Fucking idiot!" And he looks back to you guys. And he says, "Your friends are already dead. You're gonna end up just like them." And uh, he lifts up his sword in the air as you guys are sitting on the ground, probably standing up to fight, and you hear a. Thump! as a crossbow bolt bursts through the back of his head and pokes out of his eyeball with the eyeball hanging from the front of it. He falls to the ground to his knees and then right onto uh, Wilton Bonecrag's lap. I for oh, oh, yeah, dude. I push him off. <laughs> Look! The other, the other <laughs> bandit, he, uh, you see he's got him he's got, yeah, he's got an eye patch on. And uh, he's got a bandana over his head. He's got like some leathers on. He like he looks around nervously. He looks into the pit and he hears like there's just a groaning sound coming from inside of the pit. His other friend is dead and bleeding out. He turns to flee. I sh- pull my bow off myself and shoot an arrow at him. Dex roll. Oh, this better fucking be good. Oh, sick. <laughs> so Wilton Bonecrag, you shove the corpse off with of the your plus lap. two. 
Yeah. You shove the corpse off of your lap and then stand up and fire your arrow. It hits him square in his back, right along the spine, and he falls to the ground dead. How oh, beautiful. <laughs> Deep. <laughs> Fuck man! Um, what the fuck? What the you fuck hear just a, happened? You hear the you hear the thump as another crossbow bolt is fired, and then you hear something collapse in the distance. And uh, Lauren stands up from behind the boulder and says, "Yep, think that was the last of them. Good shot, Wilton. One in a million. <laughs> and uh, he walks up to the he walks uh, up closer." And uh, he looks into the pit and he says, Hmm, this one's still breathing. Uh, can, we, can we question him? Like, can, uh, can Lauren pull him out? Like, is he strong enough to do that? Fat ass might fall in. <laughs> he, says, uh, <laughs> he says, sure, I can take him out. Here, help me with him, though. All right, so I got to help him out. Yep, so Lauren picks him up and uh, hold on one second. Yeah, so this man is like ble- uh, bleeding profusely. He's he's taken one stab wound into his thigh and another one into his like it looks like it got him on the ribs. Um, like can I can, can I bad. pour my uh, a little bit of my wine skin? Can I take a, a swig and then pour some on there? <laughs> slap him in the face and then tie <laughs> tie tie. We gotta tie something. Uh, we gotta fucking tie something on his wounds. Well, we have the, we have our ropes still. He says, oh, you, you, you shitty rat fuck. Oh. <laughs> um, shit, is there any cloth? Is there any cloth around here? And he's, I, look, I, I, do, do you have any bandages, is Lauren? Uh, wait till Blood Axe gets a hold of you. It'll take your fucking head off. Where's the rest Blood of your, uh, your uh, group? No, oh, I'm bleeding. Um, my fucking life's leaking out of me. Oh. Lauren, do you have bandages, man? Are you? Are you? Do you have any? He pukes into his leg wound. He pukes into his leg wound. I push him back in the pit. He starts slowly slumping forward. As he starts slumping forward, uh, Wilton just (laughs) kicks him in the shoulder, knocks him back into the pit, where he falls onto another spike right through his throat and dies. You can only help the ones that want to help themselves. I don't want to help him. I wanted information out of him. Time for a proverb from Daigle Scott. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Can I search the other two guys that are uh, not in the spike pit? Yeah, sure. Um, The one who uh, fell onto your lap, you find. He's got a pouch with uh, two silver pieces in it. And he has... He has a large uh, dagger, like it's a, it's a, it's like a, it's like a combat knife with like a saw edge on the back. Oh, nice. Or a survival knife, I should say. And uh, the other one has a uh, a rusty short sword. Oh, I just leave yeah. that shit there. And between the two of them, they have some pretty <laughs> scrappy leather armor. Can I? Uh, can I strip one of their armors? Have- we, huh? Yeah, can we take their armor? I don't have isn't any is it what yeah, isn't one of you guys shirtless, I thought? Or no? Uh, no, Didn't I was for it? a while, but I got my shirt back after we got that. Oh, uh, okay. I for some reason I thought you lost it. I don't know. <laughs> All right, sweet. Sorry, so yeah, you uh you guys each managed to get like uh you don't have like quite a full suit of leather armor, but uh each of you managed to uh put together a, a good amount. And uh, so you basically don't have helmets, but you have like uh you have a a shirt. And you have uh, new boots on. Or, uh, I mean, I should say a leather vest and then new boots on. Um, and this will bring your AC up to 12. Speaking All right, yeah, so uh, Lauren, Lauren walks up to you guys, and uh, he, he surprisingly, he kind of grabs both of you and gives you a big hug. And he says, well, that's quite nice. <laughs> wearing, the, uh, wearing the clothes of a dead man. Pretty wicked. <laughs> Lord, we need some I, armor out here. <laughs> I, I I appreciate the hug, but you're you're kind of crushing my spine. This armor is not doing that good. <laughs> he says, "Oh, well enough. He just wouldn't want to <laughs> hurt you too bad before we get back to the camp." Uh, yeah, 
We should uh, we should catch up with the rest of the group. I'll, I'll tell them you guys did a great job. Thank you, sir. I'm, I'm halfway there. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So yeah, you guys uh, you guys pick up, and uh, he takes back the, uh, the the skins of ale, and he says, huh, "Now these are a little light." <laughs> Not responsible of the bait to be drinking like that. <laughs> he got the best of us. <laughs> he got the best. It's we the learned best today that the, these wine skins were the true enemy. <laughs> he likes that. He likes that. You see, you see, he smiles when you say that. Um, so you guys head upon the eastern path uh, back towards the camp. Um, back towards the camp. Uh. You see, uh, P- uh, Patricia comes back from the from the woods, or comes back from somewhere. She appears uh, next to the cart and uh, goes up to Nisby and uh, shows a few hand signs, and then uh, and then uh, puts uh, puts her hand into his uh, palm and pulls it away, and uh, in his hand are four ears. Oh, Holy fuck. shit! I walk up and I and I, I look at Nisby and I'm I'm just like uh is one of those that fire crotch of a cunt. Uh yeah, he does a few he does a few symbols back to back to her and uh she signs back to him and he says No, she didn't see uh she didn't see Fenner among them, but she said there are more. Uh she said there's a camp not so far from here, down in uh down in the woods just there to the south. I think on the way to Cedar's Pass. And she managed to take out their watchmen. I'd say let's go. I, I, of course, that's up to you, Nisby, but... Hmm. He says, you can't yes. afford another ambush on somebody like us. Or I owe Fenrir a swift slice to the throat. I was trying to convince him over here. I mean, what if, what if John didn't get away? What if they get us off guard again? I'm sure the rest of you will be fine, but us, we're... I mean, look at us. <laughs> like... <laughs> he says, now the only situation here is that we do have some cargo. Now, if we leave this caravan completely unattended or with uh, somebody who does not know how to fight, then that will leave uh, this vulnerable. If everything's taken from us on the roads, then uh, we may have a dangerous uh, day of travel. Plus, I'll have to replace all that shit and it costs money. We can't leave the caravan. He says, so... It's just too much. I think that if we leave now, it'll be uh, too dangerous. Um, I'm sure we can handle these bandits, of course, with this group. Uh, yeah, Hobart, Patricia, myself, and then uh, you recruits. Of course we could take them. But we should wait for the rest of the group. Agreed. I just say, you're the boss, and I just walk away. <laughs> <laughs> he says, but I like your initiative, lad. You, you keep at it, and you keep your blade out. He says, uh, I want you on the eastern side of the cart, okay? You stand, you stand with the mule. I just go, I, and I go to the mule. And I start <laughs> petting the horse because, you know, or the mule horse. Yeah. Because, you know, I got the animal handling. I love animals. I love horses. I love, I love four-legged creatures. <laughs> you hear a... Like centaurs and shit. You hear Nisbia whispering to Aaliyah's ear, He's wonderful with animals. <laughs> 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 Just got away with them. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Oh. I was going to make a joke, but I'm not getting that cannon because it was going to be a repeat of something else. <laughs> so after, <laughs> after about an hour, um, Lorne and uh, Daigle and Wilton uh, show up back at the camp. Uh, D- uh, Wilton is covered in blood. <laughs> I look at Wilton. I go. I guess he killed again. God <laughs> damn. <laughs> okay, Lauren. Uh, Lauren walks up to Nisby and says, uh, "Yeah, the boys did well, very, very well. Um, we took down four of them. Uh, one of them took himself down, actually, but uh, we took down three of them. Four dead. And I helped." <laughs> <laughs> and, and Lauren says, uh, yeah, that he did. Um, he says, how, how are you faring? And Nisby says, well, Patricia took out another four of them uh, out in the woods here this way. I was actually hoping that uh, you and uh, 
that you and uh, you and these recruits pointing at the other two, Rick. Oh, wait, no, pointing at just Rick, actually, now. Uh, he says, I was hoping that you and Rick and Aaliyah could stay back here at the camp, and uh, we'll go and handle this. Uh, uh, we'll take Hobart, and we'll uh, go handle this out in the, out in the forest. There's uh, supposed to be a bandit camp nearby. You're going to need some backup. Here he I'm said we're all gone. Ooh, didn't you say we're all gone, right? Except for those three? He says, hey, well, I, I'll, I'll take volunteers. Who will come with me? I, I raise up a man. hatchet while I'm petting the mule with the other hand. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good boy. We'll take the mule. <laughs> good boy. Are we, we'll is this, the is mule. this who's going with Nes, uh, Nesby to the camp? To the bandit yeah. camp? Or, okay. Yeah. yeah, I'm down. All right, so... Uh, <laughs> Couch me in. So, Wilton, Edgar, Daigle, and uh, we'll find out about uh, John in just a moment. Um, can I can I approach can I approach Aaliyah and then uh, <laughs> and then give my apologies? She said, uh, "Yeah, go ahead and do a charisma roll." All right, uh, I, I, I just low again. Okay, you rapey. <laughs> I was gonna say the goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> well, but you're being. Sin- I just you're being, yeah. You're being <laughs> sincere, so go ahead and roll, roll roll with advantage. I know you are being sincere. Roll, roll with the what? Oh, Advantage. I, Just roll another d20. Alright. I don't know. That's, it's, it still doesn't work. I don't know. I just... Yeah, um, oh, I, I just funny. say... Um, I'm, I'm not too good with words. Perhaps that was wrong. Uh, I, I apologize. She, she says, You will learn to be better with words. But until then, you will need to watch how you use them. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I walk away towards uh, Nisby. <laughs> Alrighty. So you walk over towards Nisby. So Nisby, uh, while you were, while you were gone, uh, Nisby at, says, uh, "Well, I will take I will take volunteers. Who will follow me to the bandit camp?" My blade. Yeah. I, I, I just my sword and say, "Cut me in, that. Nisby." Traitor. I I pound the side of, the side of the hatchet like onto my chest and be like, "My blade's yours." Like that. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So, uh, so Rick's staying at the camp, and uh, Patricia signs to Nisby, and Nisby says, "Well, suit yourself." And uh, Patricia's staying at the camp as well. Um, and uh, Nisby says, "Well, Patricia says that uh, says uh, uh, she doesn't she doesn't know Rick well, and Lauren needs somebody to watch his back, so she'll stay here." Um, Hobart. <laughs> He whistles, uh, and uh, Hobart co- steps out of the back. You see, like, basically a big piece of canvas gets pushed off of the cart, and he says, okay, okay. And uh, he gets out. He looks, uh, he looks really chunky. He uh, takes off his gloves, and he slides on a pair of spiked brass knuckles. And uh, <laughs> he gets him. Oh, he, he, you see him crack his neck. And uh, he gets himself low, and he takes kind of a martial pose. And uh, he says, you know I'm ready. Uh, so uh, Nisby says, uh, I'll take the left. Hobart will take the right. Uh, Daigle, Edgar, I want you on me. Wilton, John, you stay with Hobart. Will do, sir. Aye, Cap. Sounds says, good. Now, uh, now, uh, you guys take it. Oh, yeah. Yes. Do I get my bow back? Yeah, you get your hand crossbow. So he, he tells you, uh, he says, so Wilton, uh, you'll, be, you'll be taking the far left. You'll be the furthest out from us. This way, when you fire your bow, it will not strike any of us, and you'd be damn careful. And uh, Hobart, I want you to do the same thing from the far right. We'll put them into a pincer formation. Hobart will run down center. I'll run down. I will come in from the left, swooping. And uh, Daigle, Edgar, or, uh, yeah, Daigle, Edgar, blades up. Will do, sir. Aye. All right. So Boy, you guys, uh, you guys head into formation and begin, uh, heading towards the camp. Let's see. Um, uh, you can, you can see that further into the woods, um, there is a, uh, there's a, there's a bonfire, 
Uh, you guys uh, begin walking through like large oak trees. You can see that the, you know the fire is completely obscured from the roadway ahead. Um, and uh, there is a bit of a commotion in the camp. Can we see how can, many uh, people are in there? Yeah, I was gonna say, can we sneak up so we can get a head count? Yeah. So uh, go ahead and do uh, dexterity for stealth rolls. And all you'll get these with you get these uh, to do these with advantage. So everybody roll one. All with, of us. Uh, two D. Fuck. Oh, two of them. Oh, oh two of them. Two. I fucked up. Does that count? I don't know. I did like that. Oh. Ah. <laughs> uh, fucking a man. Yeah, Jesus. Two. What the fuck, Daigle. <laughs> oh, Daigle. Boy. <laughs> if you could just fucking shut your trap. <laughs> you fine. <laughs> We'll we'll say that uh we'll say that these uh these roles are gonna decide basically how close you can get to the camp before you notice. So Daigle and Nisby are able to get really close to the camp. And uh you hear him say uh he says, The scouts are dead. The scouts are fucking dead. Those rat bastards came in and got them. And they sent the other crew to the, the to the south. No, to the east. Ah oh, fuck if I know where they sent them. He says, but they're goddamn coming. I I know. I hope they come back from the south. There aren't enough of us here. And you see how many uh, uh, people are in there? There's like six or seven. There's, it looks like seven bandits left in the camp. I want to do a, I want to scan the camp the best okay. I can from where I'm at. Oh, and look for that wisdom. rat bastard, Fenner. Jizdom. Jizdom. <laughs> 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 and then a plus, plus two. two. That's, plus two. So you can see, uh, you can see that uh, Fenner is uh, he is in the camp. He's standing near a tent towards the back of the camp, and he's talking to some uh, some real to some big bulky dude who has uh, like his, his one of his eyes is uh, cut out, um, and he's he's not wearing any any sort of like eye patch or anything. Just got it out to bear. He's got black hair. <laughs> It's got Rod a big axe. Yeah. Eye socket. <laughs> Fucking monster. <laughs> and, yep. And Fenner is uh he's smoking something with him. The two guys are are sharing a smoke back there. Damn a Siggy. Red, what are you doing? <laughs> Red oh, camels. Oh, uh, you see uh you see Hobart <laughs> is uh going in. He he starts to uh walk around that side, heading towards uh Fenner and the large guy. And he points it. He points at you, okay. and uh, you see him do this with his hand. He goes. So I take aim at Fenner. <laughs> try to hit him in the knee. Okay. But and I, you know, I put both hands on. I use all of my fucking concentration, and I guess I try to fire here, at him. John. <laughs> so Nisby. Uh... All right. Well, hold on. Hold on, before I fire, I, you know, I'm concentrated. I look back at Hopper and go, now? Like, give him the he nod says, now. He so he, he points to hold and okay. uh, points over to Wilton and basically yeah. gestures for you to get ready as well because you're with him too, right, Wilton? Yeah. And uh, he, he points over to the camp to the other side of the fire, says to shoot that way. <laughs> uh, so you see, uh, you see Hobart, Hobart come in. And uh, <laughs> on the other side, uh, Daigle and Edgar uh, Nisby says, all right, the three of us, all together, both of you at my side, all right? This, si this, other, side of the, uh, this other side of the camp is thick with men. We're going to take them by surprise, and we're going to swing until nothing is left of them. Is it, I've never killed just, a man I just, before. I nod my head. And he understand. slaps you in the face. He says, not time to think about things like that. <laughs> Time to kill, okay? This is what we do. We're killers. This isn't all we do. <laughs> but this is something we do. I just, I just look at them. I was like, maybe we, what we do. We do this often. Okay, enough. Let's go. <laughs> Let's bring the saints to their knees. All right, so as the three of you run in, you see, uh, you see across the camp, 
Hobart, uh, he he goes from he comes out from behind a tree and swings a right hook right into that like big dude with the axe's head, and it drops him to the ground. And then he stomps on his head three times with his foot, and Fenner just starts running in the direction <laughs> towards uh towards Wilton and uh, I shoot him. And Dawn. All right, both of you go ahead and roll dexterity rolls for firing. If you'd like to shoot. I was I aiming missed. for his knee. Okay. I want to fucking misses, put him but down. John, your your bolt go goes straight into his knee. Roll a one d four for damage. Um, two damage. All right. Yeah. So he goes. He goes. Oh! And uh, he falls to the ground. And he pulls his knee up to his face. And uh, like he grabs onto the bolt and he tries to pull it out, but then he just screams even louder and uh, lets go of the bolt. And he tries to start like scurry away, like pushing himself backwards across the ground into a tent. Um, and uh, Hobart, there any... oh, Hobart sorry, says, uh, Hobart just yells to you guys and he says, okay, blades out. I and, pull my uh, sword. So now. I put I put the the bow on my back and grab my, my and sword you can see and now that like uh, you you can kind of understand uh, you can see that like as this commotion is started on the right side of the camp the five bandits that are over near you guys in Nisby um, begin running towards that side as as uh, Nisby Daigle and uh, Edgar are running into the battle so you're cutting at the bandits' backs. Cool. Um, I I. S- Wait, wait, you mean like actually I, physically behind their backs or who are yeah, they running towards? The ran- okay, um, it, okay, yeah, I'll you, let you, do, you do have the right? initiative. Um, so I, I, I swipe with one motion with my short sword and and then, um, and then can I get ready for a second attack and a stab in the back with my dagger? Oh, yeah, so go ahead and roll the dexterity roll 15 oh. plus one. All right, roll 1d6 nice. for your short sword. All right. Whew. All right, yeah, you, you slice this man across his back, and he just falls straight to the ground. He's bleeding. Hey, I, he, he, he reaches his hands towards his back, and then you... And then I can finish off with my dagger, plunge into him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Where do you plunge your dagger? Uh, straight in the back of his neck. Oh, man. Yeah, so he reaches back to the nice. to his back, like trying to grab his open wound across his spine, and uh, then the dagger drives straight into his neck, and he goes completely limp on the ground. Um, you see Nisby, he uh, he he jumps out, he he slams his buckler into one of the men's heads, and uh, then stabs him in the back as the man is uh, recoiling, and another bandit turns his uh, his blade to attack him. And he just jams it right through his chest, uh, turns the saber and jams it directly through his chest, and then kicks him off of the blade. Oh, can I, shit. Uh, he's fucking, he's a can god. I, can I run up to one of them with, with my, uh, my left hand with the hatchet, slice the, the guy in, uh, behind the knee, and as he drops, fuck, if he does, slice him in his knee, and then uh, try to slice his throat as he drops to the ground? Ooh, let's see if it happens. Go ahead and roll your attack. Oh, fuck, I'm scared. Fuck it, bitch. Okay, so you missed the back of his knee. Um, you missed the back <laughs> of his knee, and, uh, yeah, he, he, tur- he turns on you, realizes that he's surrounded on both sides, and uh, you can see that there's, uh, there's some thoughts going through his head all real fast, and uh, he spits on the ground, and he says, fuck it, if I die, I die, and he swings his blade at you. Can I try to cross block with both the hatchets? No. No? Oh, I don't have the fucking... Damn. Oh, he misses you, though. Damn. Can I try to... Uh, okay, can I plunge the fucking... Uh, can I plunge my uh, hatchet right in between his eyes? Or attempt to? Oh, yeah. Roll it. Damn. All right, do you have I'm any bonuses? Fucking... What is that for? Dexterity or strength? They're both bad. <laughs> 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 minus one and minus two, so it's like... Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, I think this one would be strength with axes. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> Damn. All right. Yeah. So that's that's gonna miss. Um, and now it's a it's a 
Yeah. So <laughs> you see from the other side, the other side of the field. Now we'll, we'll bounce the other side. Um, so Fenner is uh, hidden in, is uh, backing himself into a tent as uh, Wilton and John are running in. Butch, 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 Butch. There's, Pushing. there's two Pushing. people Pushing. running towards and us. Hobart's correct? there, and you can hear a couple of other men on the other side of the fire too. Uh, it seems that there are at least two other bandits nearby. Okay. I choose to deal with the closest person to me. Ready myself, put put my buckler up and do a lunge at his face over the buckler. Or okay. under the buckler, I cool. guess, because I'm coming Racing up. with the buckler. All right, go ahead and roll. And you get a plus yeah. one to your roll. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, that's well, a level two, brother. <laughs> high, high or low, my friend? Let's go. Uh, okay, sweet. Uh, hi. So yeah, you stab you stab underneath and you narrowly miss, just like cutting through your forearm as you do it. it your your sword, your own forearm, and my uh, own forearm. As, as you pull your hand back oh, to fuck. try to ready your blade again, you realize that your sword is stuck in the buckles of your buckler. I uh, oh. my I'm close to him, right? Yes, you're right. I I swing my sword at the guy. Uh, that John was trying to get. Okay, so you see the guy, like, he sees that the sword gets stuck in his buckler, and the guy laughs. He's got big yellow teeth with three of them missing, and he just goes, <laughs> Okay, roll your attack. What the <laughs> fuck, man? <laughs> they got good right, rolls, so we get shitty you... rolls. High or low? Oh, we'll go low. Okay, you got actually rolled up just for your info. I got a 49, which is like just where low starts. <laughs> wow. Okay. So, yeah, um, you managed to, yeah, so you swing, you miss terribly, and uh, you uh, end up like kind of tumbling slightly, and he gets an attack on you as you're, as you're rolling. Wow. And that misses. So he, oh, nice. he swings at you. And uh, a poof of smoke from the fire uh, uh, comes out, comes out to the side. The wind has changed, and it blew smoke into the man's eyes. You can see he's like, "Ah, oh, goddamn smoke eye!" Am I still standing? Am I still standing, or like, where am I at? Or yeah, am I on the ground. You're, you're still, uh, you're still standing there next to him. But you, uh, as you ready your blade, you see Hobart running from behind, and he just socks the dude in the back of the head with his uh, brass knuckles, and the God. guy crumbles. A Dang. bunch of a bunch of blood shoots out of the guy's nose, and his eyes go red, bloodshot, and they roll into the back of his head, and he falls headfirst into the fire. Damn, Hobart, savage as fuck! I told you that man's the devil. He's the devil. Surpri <laughs> I mean, I guess. What in a good way? Surprised by Ho fucking Hobart, the intense strength I is there Hobart, is there anybody Hobart still Hobart around us done. Hobart here's da are you shouting about he's the devil yeah <laughs> I'm like I'm pulling my dagger out of this guy's spine he's like I told you that man's the devil but in a good way <laughs> uh, then, uh, and you hear Hobart yelling he says yeah that's right bandits listen to him I'm the fucking devil <laughs> and uh, he jumps through the f the bonfire and lands on the other side and you hear the sound of fists like pounding into flesh oh my god <laughs> okay Fuck yeah, Dr. Looks like Kong country out down. here you can hear Fenner cowering inside of the tent and uh yeah go ahead I bring no, you, myself you see him crawling oh, go ahead I bring myself to the. I bring myself he's, he's to the. Crawling oh, so he's out still the crawling other in. side of the tent, trying to get into the woods. Burn the tent, bro. I walk around the tent to to find him on the other side. Okay, he sees you and he says, uh, "He says, oh, come on, he says, come on, man. I, I didn't hurt you. I didn't hurt you." Is he? <sighs> he's holding. Is he the armed? Knife. He says, "Come on, I didn't hurt you. Ah, my fucking leg. Let me go." Let me go. I, t I walk up and take a slash Ooh, okay, at his knifed back. hand. Uh, Four or 20? Tw 20. Two of them. You got advantage. He's on the ground. He's basically incapacitated. All right. Yeah, so you slash his hand with your, with your knife? With your... With what? Okay, roll a d6. Short sword. Ooh. 
Nice. You lop his hand off. <laughs> his hand and the knife fall to the ground, and he looks he looks down to it, he looks at his hand with blood squirting out of it, and he looks down to his knee with a bolt sticking out of it, and he just screams bloody terror and passes out with a pale face. I slap him around a little bit and try to shake him to wake him up. He's the I butcher. Grab, I grab okay, a so- uh, a stick of a, a uh, some uh, some uh, like a stick that's on fire from the fire, and I stab it on his uh, like his hand that was freshly cut off to cauterize the wound. <laughs> oh my god! All right, so, oh, so uh, <laughs> thank you, Wilson. Mutilators. <laughs> Do you guys, uh, yeah, so you hear the sizzling and you smell the, uh, the coppery smoke of burning blood and, uh, Special you're breakfast. smacking him, you're smacking his lifeless body <laughs> and his face is just <laughs> falling limply back and forth and no blood is rising to the surface to form bruises. The man is dead. Hobart looks over your shoulder <laughs> And uh, he, he, he's, uh, the group begins coming together, and uh, he says to Daigle... Wait, they killed the guy... He said, I'm the devil. <laughs> was, was the guy I was fighting and, somebody and killed? Then, and then I look at Edgar, I, uh, and I look at I Edgar... Look back at him and yeah, I show, that's why I'm a little confused. On, I look back at it. Somebody hold on. Me. I look back and then at him I look and I look at Edgar. Well, no, no, no. I can't beat you to dead horse. That's not what I'm fighting. The guy I was fighting, somebody killed him. They told me to take a hair. For to regain my honor, Did and somebody I killed the guy I was fighting. That's oh, why yeah, I was Joseph's asking. still in combat, isn't he? Yeah, I was like fighting somebody, and he just like randomly. <laughs> oh, not Joseph. Sorry, whole fight ended just randomly. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. So Hobart's rejoined his group, but you and I don't know Ms. if you heard B what I said. Daigle are still over there. Oh, okay. So we're in a different thing. That's what I was trying to ask. I was like, okay, I was yeah, yeah. my bad, oh, my bad. Yeah. But Hobart, you know, he says I thought I was the one to say. I didn't know how many people were left, or because I thought he said everybody was dead. They said they said I had to take a hair to win my honor back, oh and my I scalp God. him and put the scalp. All on right, my belt. do a uh, do a uh, a constitution check. You gain an insanity point as you cut the scalp, the red-headed scalp, now covered in blood, double red-headed scalp from Fenner's lifeless body, <laughs> and I assume put it into your bag. Okay, and put it attached to your belt. And Hobart says, Wow, seen a lot of shit. Never seen anything quite like that. He says, That is somewhere between impressive and completely fucking wacko disgusting. (laughs) I hear the words and I I kind of shake and I... Oh. And then a big pig guy comes out of nowhere and smashes Uh your head. (laughs) 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 <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Back to back to Edgar. Um uh it's your it's your it's your swing against this guy. Okay, I'm just looking, I'm like, this is all pointless. Look what's going on with your men out there. It'd be folly to fight anymore. Join with me. We can purify this. You see that man and I point the um I forgot his name. The big guy. The big uh the Hobart? guy that said the, yeah, ho- no, uh, yeah. Lor- uh, Lauren Lauren, yeah. I was Hobart? like, that man. Wait, whoever the big guy is that um, that Daigle was saying was a demon. Yeah, that's oh, Hobart. Hobart. Yeah, it was like. That's Hobart. Oh, He's you with can't. Us. They can't see what's going tent. on or no? Well, I don't know. That's up to the I'm not DM, sure if they can see what's going them. on. So he's, right he's just around the side of the bonfire. You guys can you guys can hear them over there. The screams, but really yeah, them. okay. Do you hear that? There's a demon over there. Do you know who I am? Together, join me. I purify demons. And then I, like, flash oh, the severed chain again. We can oh, get God. out of here together. Roll a wisdom check with advantage. 17. And do my wisdom is pl- my wisdom's plus one. Yeah, do another d20. Oh, do another one? Oh, my oh, God. Oh, 20! <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> Yeah, when you have advantage, you always roll twice. So if I say you have advantage, you roll twice. Take oh, higher. okay. Oh, shit. Um, all right, man. That, okay. So, yeah, you flash the Severn Colt, and uh, he says, No, please! Okay. I, okay, okay. I don't want to die. What the fuck do you want? What the fuck do you want? And he drops to his knees, and uh, Nisby says, uh, he, he leans over to you, and he whispers in your ear, and he says, uh, you're not really a cultist, are you? 
Not in that aspect. I take the dude's weapon and I jam it into his skull at the top if I can. Oh <laughs> and then I will do I have to roll for that? Or yeah. No, he's completely okay. I whisper in his do. ear, even though he's probably not conscious, it's like the thing is wiping out the impurity starts with you. Oh my god. <laughs> oh yeah. my god. Yeah, so you jam your blade. <laughs> he's he's blade up into his head, and uh, and Nisby goes. Oh, he like puts his hand to his mouth, and he says, "Oh, <laughs> Edgar, <do> this. Edgar, <laughs> <laughs> you naughty boy, that, that was fucking wicked! <laughs> wow, I wouldn't have expected that of you. <laughs> takes, takes balls, takes balls." Mighty balls, wrecking balls, morning stars. You got a pair of morning stars down there. Good morning, Edgar. Well, welcome to Mises Mercenary College. Welcome. Day one of class. Excellent. Excellent. Hold on. What? He did excellent. <laughs> Take the two. Kill the man. Two blows. I've never killed a man before, but... I, mean, I can tell you, it's something I'm getting used technically to. Technically, I'm the only one who killed Ben here. <laughs> I knocked him down, and then I cut and his wow, hand off and scalped him. That <laughs> is mildly I I troubling. <laughs> can I search this dude's body? Is there anything on him? <laughs> yeah, can we find a mass loot? I, I mean, we can I mass loot. I don't know why so I did that. I mean, after it's all over, I guess. Yeah, so the battle is over. Yeah. Um, oh, okay. I'm gonna... Let's mass loot this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. All right. So you guys, uh, you you guys can see that they likely have uh, just robbed, um, like they, they've obviously like robbed some sort of caravan or something because there's quite a bit of shit here. So uh, you guys all together managed to scrape together sixty six silver pieces. God um, damn. I'd say we split that. Really up to equally. I mean, Nisby's one that led this charge, so I think he's the one that chooses. I, so, I, I mean, like, I, equally, I, I see Fenner's cor corpse, and I say, people out. I played cards with that guy the other night. I know he's a cheater, I didn't know he's a fucking liar, too. <laughs> yeah, he took some money. You definitely I started out the his. neck. You're I no Bonnerbird man, scalp but you did a my, splendid job on my waist. Wouldn't it be funny if? I never yeah. said I was a barber. Says, uh, I'm a fucking Hobart butcher. Says, I, yeah, I've played cards with Fenner. Never thought there was much on his mind. Now I can see his skull. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just like Fenner, an animal is an animal. Cool. And I butcher wow. John the Butcher, is it? Dun, dun, dun. He's the serial killer of the group. We're going to find him murdering people yeah. and fucking... Uh, uh, the I like that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I got I got one scalp John collected. The butcher, what do you guys have? Man. I like that. I like that. But you won't eat him. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> you won't eat him. Uh, also, also Bit. in the camp. My my you guys is find, not there uh, yet, but enough, just you wait. Enough uh, pieces of leather armor to put together full suits for everybody. Um, uh, there is. Let me check. There are two casks of ale. There are there are four uh, large sacks of rice, and there is a, uh, a there's a there's a whole barrel of larded pork. Hell yeah, lard! lard. Holy shit! I won't, oh, there's plenty of I won't camp have to break out too. anything there's, from. There's a there's holy, like, I don't know, like say... bed rolls and tents everywhere. <laughs> At least tons of cum stains. Um. Can I go up to Nidsby's? I say, I definitely, I definitely take a suit of armor and try to pack up. I want to go up to uh, Nidsby's. Rice. And say, we're and then any, oh, there, any kind of silver that I find is. on them. Oh, there's a very frightened horse tied off to a tree. Ooh, and can I go? Fuck uh, it. No, can I go? <laughs> and it and it looks like it's a uh, its reins have been tied off to the tree, and there's still a bit of a, a a bit of wood attached to them. But it looks like the bonfire has been created from tearing apart the carriage. You can actually see a a, a wooden axle burning in the fire still. Can I? It, can it's I like go a up coffee cup horse? that you get that says "caution hot," except for it's a coffee cup that says "don't fuck it." 
I want to. I want to go. Yeah, I want to go. Uh, I want. Uh, so if you guys, uh, if you guys put on a full suit of armor, uh, you guys will get thirteen AC. Can I go? Uh, can I go and calm the horse down? Did yeah, go ahead and do it. Brought? Okay, I want to. I want to just go through it. It's freaking it a, out because I, every, there was just a war in front of it. <laughs> yeah. I want to go up to it and, like, calm it down. Uh, is it a male or a female? Can I, like, see? <laughs> Look at it. Know if I'm jacking it off or figuring it. No, I need to know so I know what to say. Exactly. Yeah, no, it's a... Easy boy. Wait, you say, wait it's, a, it's a boy, right? Yeah. A mare's a girl. Oh, a, a girl. Oh, you said mare. I thought you said male. <laughs> oh okay. no, I'm yeah i'm sorry okay it's like easy girl easy and like i just go over there and i'm, I'm trying to calm it down do i have to roll for that yes roll a right. handle animal handle and i got plus plus handle two handle. the an animal handling nice. your soothing words and your calming gestures manage to uh bring the horse back to a restful state and it nuzzles its nose into your hand can i take this horse <laughs> <laughs> oh, i want this horse <laughs> Nisby, Can I kind uh, of take it with Nis us? Or? Nisby says, uh, he says, uh, yeah, he says, uh, we're going to need this horse to help haul out all of this gear. We just made some pretty uh, decent loot. Um, he says, uh, for the silver pieces, he says, of course, you all can have that. I mean, Hobart will take a cut, I'm sure. And Hobart says, yep. Yeah, and, we're uh, definitely going to. Me and Pudding Hobart Nisby, grabs, uh, Hobart grabs uh, 20 silver pieces. He counts out 20 silver, and he says, uh, you guys did well. You keep the rest. So there's 46 silver pieces left for you guys to divvy up. We're going to need this horse to, 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 to hold off uh, the three barrels of lards that we got here. Uh, two of the barrels here in Hobart's big ass. What? <laughs> I said we're going we're gonna to need this horse here to hold off all three b big old barrels of lard. We got these two barrels in Hobart's big ass over here. Do a charisma check. <laughs> all right so i'll just i'll just take 11 oh. uh, of that silver for divvying it up because it ain't going yeah, same here it's not going well, even that's what i was about that's what i was yeah. about to say is we all get 11 and yeah, the last two yeah, goes to nimsby that. that actually works he says i don't need your pity change did hobart it's laugh a, it's, a very, it's a very it's a very kind gesture boys but i don't need it it's two silver pieces come on i get free ale and grog's mead shut the fuck up and Hobart, Hobart, uh, Hobart, uh, he laughs. Yeah, he laughs when you say that. He, he just goes, uh, he goes, uh, it's a, that's a good one. So we all, if we all take 11, what the, that's 44, and then there's two pieces left. So, uh, whoever wants to take the two pieces, I'm out. You guys can go ahead. I already had I whatever from winning the tournament. Yeah, I already had I'll the thing one. from winning that one. little tournament thing, and then I, yeah. So I'm good. I got I got 26 right now. So me and Dago take the other two. Ooh, we got as 13 long as that's now. Not, yeah, as see, long I'm already that... I'm rich, bitch. <laughs> I'm rich, bitch. I got 22. Right. Um, what what color is the horse, by the way? That's like, what racist. Is the description of the like horse. I just want to know. So, so the horse is brown and white. Brown and white. Um. Mm. I was just trying to think of a name I want to call it because, um, fuck, I can't. Brown, think of white, either. female, and it appears to be kind of like a middle-aged horse. It's in its a, it's in its breeding uh, years. Oh, okay, it's getting, so it's getting towards the end of its. Breeding okay, years. so like old liver spots, brown with white spots. We call it mud spot. Mud spot. Um, okay. Yeah, come on, mud spot. That's a good girl. Let's go. Oh let's yeah, go, I... let's go, little baby. I got a quick question. Did I get any XP from murdering? Uh, oh, dude, yeah, you get, what's you his get name? two Fenner? XP for murdering that guy and for taking vengeance. Oh, what, what do I get? Do I get any uh, EXP? Yeah, anybody who's vengeance. killed a person, this fight gets one XP. If you've killed more than one person, you get one XP per person. So, uh, so yeah, you guys, uh, you guys make it back to the camp. Um, and uh, you can see that back at the camp that there are uh, four bodies laying out near the near the caravan is one of them um, rick <laughs> i had a feel like rick was in on it too it was playing dumb i don't know oh one of them is rick <laughs> rick you prick buried deep oh. within the sticks <laughs> <laughs> and uh 
And Lauren, Lauren says, it's not very funny. He died defending the vet caravan. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I, 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 I thought he was a Edgar. traitor. <laughs> I just walk away. Nis Nisby says, uh... Now the only traitor here is that... Fuck Nisby God. says, uh, eh, that's the thing with recruits. <laughs> Check it up. <laughs> well, it shouldn't be. If you said, uh, well, no, not the, not the case of Fenner. Fenner's a a bloody dipshit betrayer, getting on the wrong side of Mises Mercenary Company. Fucking idiot! All these bandits out in this right, all the bandits out in this range. Their days are numbered. He says, uh, of course, we're not going to storm out here and uh, kill them for nothing. It's not what mercenaries do, but I'm sure we'll receive a big contract uh, soon enough. I'm down. I walk up to Nisby, cutting off a slice of hair from my scalp, and said, you said I needed to get this. You cut off some hair I'm from your scalp? To him. No, oh, from, from the... the scalp. Oh. No, from the scalp Nisby's on better, my like... belt. He says, uh... He says, I, I, I think I understand the gesture, but you already had all of the hair, and then you cut some of the hair off, and that's a little confusing to me. But well done. <laughs> I, thought, I think this all deserves all our efforts here today. I think we all deserve a drink. I think we should rest a bit and just celebrate. I agree. Let's see what this rum tastes like. We've got a couple of casks from these guys. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I walk over to Hobart and say, and after grabbing some rum, be like, I believe this is what you like, right? He says, hand him some. I <clears throat> looks like I can uh, refill my considerable stores. <laughs> and uh, he pulls out skin after skin from inside of his uh, padded <laughs> I think armor. I might do the you same. see, he pulls out like six, seven, eight skins and begins filling them all with rum. God damn, Hobart! I got some says, shit to learn you from you. That you do. He says, uh, he, says, I'll tell you, he says, I'll tell you right here and now. I think, you've got the, I think you've got the stuff. I'll take you under my wing if you need a trainer. Well, well to be honest, I, uh, <coughs> I, I didn't think I had it. But after tonight, nothing's going to fuck with me. I, I want to learn good. from you. He says, good. You'll learn the way. He says, I've got a few things I can teach you. More on that when we get back there. Got the way of the silent staff, and I can teach you the methods of scarification that help give me this great strength. It's an abysmal Let's study. Let's get to it. Difficult, painful, rigorous. Have to be very committed to do that. You know what? I'm, su I'm surprised to say it, but... I don't think I'm going to shy away. I mean, I just scalped someone. I never <laughs> I thought I'd do that. <laughs> like I said, never quite seen that before. Pretty impressive. Well, you lucky for you. Puke. Now you have. <laughs> I was, was going to approach Nisby and be like, I, I don't know if you noticed what I did back there with the blades and work, the missing, homie. but I couldn't, I couldn't help but knowing... Or noticing the finesse that you gave in that battlefield, and I was wondering, will you will you teach me your your ways of flexibility? I don't know how to say that. That's really weird, uh, awkwardly weird to him. Yeah, like, so a, like a fanboy, like a, because the way that he did that shit, like the finesse with it. Yeah, I don't know. So uh, like his Nisby, dick is just hard. Nisby Nisby tells you. He says, uh, "He says now." What I do is not something that anybody could learn. He says, but I would be more than happy to give you a trial once we return back to Miser's Peak. He says, I'll give you a chance. I'll give you a chance, okay? So learn what you can between now and then. Do your best during our trial, and I may take you on as an apprentice. And I just go, sir. And then I, I uh, yeah, walk away, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Stay in this man's presence. <laughs> and as you walk away, uh, he, uh, he leans over to Daigle, and he says, Now you, you've got the stuff. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm 
He says, uh, he says, um, he says, now the offer's on the table. If you want to learn expert swordsmanship, if you want to learn to duel, uh, it's on the table. You can learn with me. Sir, I, I don't think we're murderers. I've, I, I, I don't. I've killed a man today, and I think I like it. <laughs> I think I'm just going to have, uh, I just need a little bit of time for myself, if you don't mind. Yes, yeah. Of course, take your time. Joke, who, who was like, asking that, that? Joe fucking had a Joker thing that? on his video because of that fucking straw. Uh, Nisby. It's Nisby. I just want to say yeah, everybody's, been approached, oh, was everybody's that, been approached. Everybody's been approached. Was that a question to all of us? <laughs> I just want to say. Yeah, I just want to say it's like everybody's been approached here by someone but me. It's like a it's like a recruiting thing. People are getting recruited into teams. And I'm sitting here like nobody wants me. <laughs> well, hey, I uh, I wasn't approached. I approached yeah. Hobart multiple times, so it's not like I was approached randomly. I'm trying to get the I kept fucking approaching Hobart, shit, but I'm also ever trying since to we get, met the like, group. I'm just so goddamn stupid. <laughs> no. You've already, uh, Aaliyah already said that she would teach you. Yeah, I know. I just was trying to find some more <laughs> combat experience too to kind of duel it. Yeah, I know, but I'm trying to find somebody so, yeah, else. Like, I'm you trying actually to got a teacher before us. Duel, duel it out, unless she has. Well, unless she has something. Lauren, Lauren comes up to. Uh, Lauren approaches. Uh, also, yeah, Lauren said that he generally teaches everybody. But yeah, uh, he's like a general teacher. Mm-hmm. So Lauren, uh, Lauren approaches. Um, fuck, Wilton. He comes up and he says, "So you like that bow?" Yes, yes I do. Yes, Daddy. <laughs> see yes, yourself Daddy. see yourself using something like that often. I would like to learn how to, yes. Mm. He says, what appeals to you most about the bow? The the unknowing of the victim as he falls, as the bow pierces his skin. Ooh. Mm. All of you are very bloodthirsty for refuge. Be hungry. <laughs> um, stay hungry out here. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, so so he, say, he tells you, uh, he says, my friend and uh, fellow captain back at, the, uh, back at Mises Peak, his name is Cartwright. He may be the one for you. Huntsman, falconer, master of birds, and he's currently dope. watching the ground. He says, uh, when we return back there, I'd suggest you fall in with him if you'd prefer to be a better archer. I appreciate it. He says, though I can always teach you the way of the heavy crossbow, no quicker way to split a man's skull from 60 yards, I tell you. Can I learn both? Yeah, when you Is drop it... that L from the word both. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> both. <laughs> both. Says, both. He says, you should. Crossbow both. <laughs> okay, so anyways. Um, so, I, 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 um, I, I go up to a Patricia, 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 huh? Patricia. Um, and then I, I write out, it's like, I, I'd love to learn your ability of dexterity. I just in note. So, uh, uh, Patricia, she snaps her fingers a couple times and, uh, Aaliyah comes over and, uh, she does a few signs as, and she's like looking you in the eyes the whole time that she's doing the signs and like gesturing towards you. And Aaliyah says to you, she says, my sister says, you survived the battle. You killed, her husband tells her you killed a man. And uh, he says, you didn't break, uh, you, didn't, you didn't break your cover until the moment was ripe. She says, she will, uh, she, she, she'd be happy to train you. So you're saying there's a chance. <laughs> <laughs> she ended up. 
So she she does does more sign she does more signs and Aaliyah says uh, she says just don't make any dumb mistakes on her way home. I don't know sign language, but I. <laughs> Where is that Wilton at? Okay, mm. no, I physic. Okay, there he is. Yeah, and after you guys are after you, you guys are this. talking, uh, Aaliyah goes up to Edgar, and she says, uh, "It looks like you." Uh, it looks like you survived your first big fight with the team. How does it feel? Like I didn't do enough. Okay, she uh, she touches you on the shoulder and she says, uh, "Not everyone is destined for the battlefield." Because I know how you feel. I ask her, uh, "Why are you out here?" She says, I go where my sister goes. <laughs> I ask her, it's like, no, but I mean, what? There seems like there's more than that, but I don't. Like, I, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out there's, there's something more badly. to her, okay? <laughs> you just got to whip your dick out. So, oh my god. So, yeah, okay. People. So, put a, and put a yeah. silver coin next to it for comparison of the size. <laughs> no, okay, yeah. In all seriousness, though. Um. It says, well, well, I don't, I don't often, I don't often get to leave the peak. So, when they said they were going on vacation, I decided I would accompany them as I am putting together sort of a catalog of uh, plants, minerals, and other regions with peculiar properties that aren't, I haven't found covered in other books. And uh, many of these books have been uh, burned by the orthodoxy, so there's less and less information out there as the days go by. So you're some sort of herbologist? She says, I do practice herbology, as well as, uh, a, a, as, well as a small bit of alchemy. Ooh. Oh, there's a lot I could be done with this. Teach me everything you know. I don't care how long it takes. I I need to know things. There's... What can you tell... Do you know anything about Malfora? Malfora? You mean the mind-rotting herb? Yes, my, my aunt, she... Her last moments, that she has a lot of hallucinations. She sees things. I, I never thought of him, anything like visions before. But right before Gilmore's keep was taken down, her her latest episode was about boars slaughtering, attacking, and it. I don't know. Maybe it was a coincidence. Maybe it has nothing to do. <laughs> it's so just, here, I, I, I need to know that is there any any type of supernatural activity, any type of foresight in that that's ever been recorded, or is it is it just a coincidence? She says, "Hold on." She's like, "You're burnt." <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> the fuck. <laughs> Supernatural? What the yeah. fuck? <laughs> Are you on Malfora? <laughs> I, said, I said I was an herbologist. That's all natural. <laughs> so you want to take a hit? Okay. Not um, a pharmacist. <laughs> so she she says uh she says <laughs> um she says me and my sister are from the borderlands of the Eastern Kingdom of Elohim. She says, uh, out there, on the outside, on the outskirts of the large kingdom, Rayodan's kingdom, it is quite violent, I and mean, there's quite a lot of use of the Malfora herb. It is known as the Mind Rotter, but there are also spiritualists who claim it gives them prescience, visions of the future. I've not tested this myself, as it is, uh, 
much too dangerous. I would never encourage anyone to consume it. Do you think you can find it in Grog's Mead? That's what I asked her. <laughs> she, uh, she, she looks at you and she says, uh, she says, why would you seek something out which could destroy your mind? Because it's the only way to cleanse it. That's all I say to her. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Alright, uh... <laughs> I'm it's trying like to figure wrong, out deeply into distracted. this, and the only way to figure it out is to delve into it myself. We'll so what were the words that you just said to her, though? And she said, why would you want to, uh, like, whatever, uh, it would rot... Why are you they trying to rock? Your mind. Yeah, destroy your mind. And I said, because it's the only way to cleanse it. Because it's like the whole, uh, it's like eating away at me. Like, I need to understand what happened. So it's like the okay, only way so to she's, cleanse she's get, She says to you, uh, she says, if you know what toll this drug, this, this herb had taken on your aunt, and you know what it can do to people, she says, how could you possibly think that it would cleanse your mind? With everything that's happened, and I look at the rest of my party, I want to be able to tell what's happening, what's coming next. That's all. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> okay. I want to make sure make your a, guys' fates aren't destined for ruin. Word. Make a wisdom check. Damn, nine. My wisdom is plus one. So she, says, she says to you, uh... She, look, she looks you in the eyes, and you can see that there's a sadness in her eyes. And she says, I think that seeing the bloodshed in this battle and feeling the terror of this fight has affected you adversely. I would recommend sleeping on it. We'll speak of this tomorrow. That seems fair. Thank you. And then I, I walk away to slumber. <laughs> cool. So let's say... Everybody as does. the evening, as the evening comes to a close, and everybody is uh, running through their minds the uh, the contents of the day, the trap set by the fire, um, the bandits, the many bandits you've all seen die tonight, desperate men, thin men, ragged, but also with carts laden with good, with bloody, rusted weapons hanging in the woods just outside of your camp. You've slaughtered them. You've been offered, you've now seen uh, some of your, uh, your compatriot mercenaries in combat and seen their fearsome displays that they can put on. And now you're mulling over some of the offers you've had in your head as you fall asleep. And perhaps some of you consider, is this really the life for me? <laughs> but perhaps you don't. Perhaps you know you've been destined for this your whole life, and it only took a simple burning down of everyone and everything you've ever known to put you on this path. Born from the ashes. <laughs> <laughs>